Hello again, my name is David Watts from Lenovo Press. I have with me Sheikha Mishra. He's uh, Director of Product Management for Flex System and Converge Systems. How are you doing, Sheikha? Good, David, thank you. Um, today we're going to be talking about Flex System, this unit in front of us. So why would customer use Flex System and, and Blade architecture in general? If you think about a regular uh, infrastructure that uh, clients typically deploy for their IT uh, and in a rack-based environment, uh, what you have is uh, discrete uh, servers, rack servers, mm -hmm. that you deploy for your compute uh, infrastructure. Each of those servers will have your adapters for SAN and LAN capability, then which have cables going through them and go to the top of the rack switches, which then go to your core network. That is a very typical setup. Now within that rack, you will have storage, you will have separate you know, PDUs, you will have uh, right. uh, other infrastructure to support, and all of them have their own discrete uh, you know, management. What a Blade environment does is basically converges all of that into a very nice, compact uh, chassis infrastructure like what you see here right now. Yep. Yep. And where all the compute uh, infrastructure goes from the front, and then all the connections are made through the midplane, and you have your integrated networking, you have integrated management, you have shared power and cooling. So all that adds, reduces a lot of the complexity, takes a lot of cables out from your rack environment. Right. Uh, so in my view, that is one of the greatest advantage of having a converged, compact setup like this through blades than having a rack uh, environment. Right, right. Well, let's have a look at the, the components, um, front and back. Sure. Yeah. So, what have we got here at the, at the front here? What's what's most of this? So, what you see here, this is a 10U chassis, and it holds up to 14 standard width uh, compute nodes. Mm -hmm. And one of our most common, which uh, you know a lot of people deploy both in rack and blade environment, as you see here, I'm pulling out a compute node. So, this is a two socket EP uh, architecture, uh, very similar to what you deploy in a one U two U rack environment. Also, mm -hmm. uh, the key difference here is that this particular uh, compute holds all the infrastructure that is needed for your compute, your memory, uh, your I.O. adapters uh, mm. to make your network Internal connections. Yeah. Right. But it does not have any fan or power uh, things because all of that is in the back of the chassis. Right. And so it's, the, it's the chassis that provides the, the core infrastructure that, the, that, that it needs, the power, the cooling, management, switches. Exactly. But the, this box has the core functions for the servers. Right? Exactly right. And then what you see in the back here, David, is these two connectors that actually make the connection through the midplane for uh, all your I.O. capabilities and stuff, mm -hmm. and then the I.O. connectors too. And all I'll do is basically slide this in inside the chassis. That's it, you have to do. It's it ready, ready to be powered on. Ready to be powered away. on. Yeah. And it, once you slide it in, it automatically makes the connection through the midplane. Now, if we rotate this chassis, and what you see in the back, is now over here, starting from this side, what you see here is the shared power supplies. We have four uh, integrated network modules built into it and you have choice of uh, 10 gig, 1 gig Ethernet, you have converged switches, you have fire channel switches, you have infinite band switches. All of them is integrated right here. Uh, you have these uh, fans modules for, uh, for power and cooling. And then you have these chassis management modules that gives you the management at the chassis level all integrated inside the box. And all the orange handles, that signifies that these can be hot swap, right? That is perfectly correct. So yes. even when the system is running, if you have a fault uh, fan failure or a power, failure, power supply failure, you can easily swap those components out. And, and that is one of the big other big advantage of a blade architecture that clients deploy this in enterprise environments where they need the highest level of reliability. Mm -hmm. So there is no single point of failure in a blade architecture because every compute has a dual connection. There is a non-passive midplane which never fails. And then you have redundant IO connectivity from your chassis. Mm -hmm. So your environment is up and running at all times. So you've got uh, six power supplies, um, a, uh, ten total of ten fans. Uh, total of uh, eight uh, regular eight and, two and two small ones. Two small ones, yeah. correct? Yes. And up to four switches. And four yeah. uh, four switches. And let me show you another unique thing about the Flex. Is if I pull out this particular switch here, and this is very unique to Flex. This is a regular ten gig uh, switch module. Mm -hmm. Typically, something like this is a sixty-four port ASIC. You see that in a top of rack deployment. What we have done is we have built that into an integrated switch that goes right inside the chassis to bring 
the network efficiency right close to your workload. So right. you now have a very scalable network design where you can start off small. If you want 24 ports, you can do that. And then as your density of your compute grows, as your workload requirement grows, you can grow by adding more ports to the same switch without adding new infrastructure into your environment. So as you see in the back here, these are all the connectivity modules, the connections that are made through the midplane mm -hmm. for your network connection uh, to your computer. And there's no no um, SFP transceivers needed to connect. To exactly, the server, right? exactly. This is what replaces all the cables that you see in a rack environment, right. right? And then all you do is you have up to 22 uplinks here that gives you the network connection to your external environment, right. Right. and all of the the 14 nodes are aggregated to this switch and you only need few cables coming out of here. Mm -hmm. right? So that's one of the bigger, biggest advantages also from a networking perspective. And so each pair of, of IO modules, it's a redundant pair. Exactly. Again, so that, that the system is resilient. That is true. Yeah. That's correct. Yeah. And now, so as well as um, IO modules and power and, and cooling, you've got s systems management as well, right? And that is true. So you have your built into a chassis management module and those are also redundant so you can have two of those uh, so that if one goes down you always have the other for backup uh, and these regulate not only your power and cooling environment but it also offers a chassis level simple management setup kind of an environment and other than that we also uh, announced uh, Lenovo X Clarity Administrator mm -hmm. which is a virtual appliance and that gives you uh, advanced management functions for your virtualized environments, for your network, for your compute, right. for your storage, and it also offers upward integration into and other that, client tools. And that works with, in concert with the chassis management module and the management components that are inside each of the compute nodes as well. Exactly right, and it is very much designed to work in a virtualized environment, uh, and it not only will, will manage our flex system chassis, but it will also manage some of our rack environment too. So clients who have a mixed environment with mm -hmm. uh, blades and racks, they can all manage that all from a single point. Right. So if you want to say what your top three features, functions for, um, for flex system, what would you say they were? That would be density, oh. reliability, and uh, efficiency. Okay. Density, as we talked earlier, that you are basically taking uh, all these components of a 14 compute uh, and, and converging that into a single 10U chassis. That's a huge benefit. Reliability, as I talked earlier, that it's basically has no single point of failure, so it is always up and running. And efficiency, not only from power and cooling perspective, because all of the infrastructure that you see here is shared, which otherwise would be discrete one to one in a rack environment, but also uh, the fact that a lot of the power supplies, they are very really high rated power supplies, so they give a lot of the efficiency from that perspective. The efficiency from a cabling perspective, mm -hmm. where you know 14 nodes may have up to 56 cables in rack environment, in this case, you're down to maybe four or six cables. Uh, so that's a huge savings, not only from cost, but also from a complexity. Yeah, and it's just, just plain convenient. Exactly. You don't have to worry about all the cables. Yeah. And these systems are running the Intel Xeon E5 2600V3 processor. All right, very good. So if a, if a customer wanted to know more information about, about Flex System, where would they go? You just go to the web and search for Lenovo Flex System, and you'll get all the information. You'll have videos, you have brochures, data sheets, all the product information, right. white papers uh, that you can learn more about Flex System. Very good. Thanks very much. Thank you very much. Yes, yep. thank you. And I hope you found the video useful, and we'll see you later.